Skinny Battle Forward. Today, we're going to be shooting a time lapse of the sunrise in Killarney Provincial Park. Just doing a time lapse of the sun rising. It's really nice. So I set everything up, and now it's kind of just we were waiting. So every 10 seconds it's going. I don't know if that's the right thing, I just guessed. But here's the time lapse. It's probably only gonna be a few seconds in reality. As for the canoe, that was put there just totally by accident. <laughs> we just parked the canoe just somewhere and it's right in the shot, it's great. Everything is uh, kind of placed in there, helter-skelter, which looks great, it adds to the shot. As you might have noticed, that time lapse didn't go so well for several reasons that all link together. Hopefully you'll learn from my difficulties as I share what I learned on this shoot. Because I was shooting that footage that you saw at the beginning of this vlog, right before I started shooting the time lapse, I didn't even have time to plan and frame my shot. I literally scrambled up the rocks, found a fairly flat spot, plopped the tripod down, jammed the camera right on it, somewhat framed my shot, fiddled around with the settings a bit, took a test shot, and then clicked go on Magic Lantern's time lapse option, all within about 60 seconds. Because we were in the middle of nowhere, and I used my battery power until it's down to 0%, at the start of this time-lapse shoot, the battery was only at around 5%. Which does not bode well for Magic Lantern, which is a tad bit unstable. Now, if you're unaware of what Magic Lantern is, this is its description from the site. <clears throat> Magic Lantern is a software enhancement that offers increased functionality to the excellent Canon DSLR cameras. Adding functionality such as HDR images and video, time-lapse, motion detection, focus assist tools, and manual audio controls, and much more. Whoa, that was a lot to take in. If you'd like to read that over yourself, the link is down below in the description. But essentially, the easiest way to describe Magic Lantern, even though the creators say otherwise, is it's a hack that makes your camera better until it kills it. Again, right from their website's FAQ. <clears throat> is it safe? No. Magic Lantern was created by reverse engineering an undocumented system that controls hardware. Therefore, we cannot be certain that it's 100% safe. No. So why do I put it on all of my cards? Because up until this time lapse, I haven't been so careless as to let my battery die while Magic Lantern was in the midst of automating camera functions for me. In this case, a time lapse sequence. I use many of its features because it does augment your experience when you use it right. If you've ever wondered if your DSLR is holding something back from you, like let's say a function that you really wanted, my bet is that if you delved into what these amazing developers have engineered, your mind would be now, as I mentioned a few statements back, I used to put Magic Lantern on all of my cards. At least, I tried to. My savior of all the photos from the rest of the Killarney trip ended up being a lonesome card that I'd forgotten in one of my camera bags compartments. Why was that the savior? Because I'd forgotten to put Magic Lantern on it. It was the only remaining stable card. Now, from what my troubleshooting suggested, what had happened was my camera had its brain powered down while it was thinking about something important. And even when it was given the power to start up again, it couldn't remember how to wake up. Anyways, after replacing its memory card, swapping out batteries repeatedly, and hours of fiddling later, the camera decided to start working again. Yay, I have no idea what I did, but you're alive! Let's go take photos! Okay, here are the things that I'd like you to take away from this. One, leave yourself plenty of time to plan your shots. Two, Magic Lantern is amazing when used correctly. Three, bring along a variety of cards with a variety of software on them. Some with Magic Lantern, some without, instead of one or two massive capacity cards. What happens when something goes amiss with those two cards? Okay, I realized that was a really long one. But coming up next, you get a shorter live action vlog where I simply shoot a mushroom and mumble about what I'm doing throughout the process. Okay, cool. See you next time.